I just wanted to show you this. Um, ordinarily, the fruit of anything that is planted, if it's a cross, it won't show up. The cross won't show up until the next year because you're not eating the seeds. You're eating the fruit that comes from the seeds. Um, but I have discovered that with beans specifically, uh, the differences do show up in the seeds. So you can, in many cases, you can easily tell a cross um, in the first generation. These top two were um, two different kinds of green beans that I planted. And I planted them close together deliberately so that I was, because I was trying to get a cross. And the bottom one is what the seeds look like when those two cross pollinated. So um, you have a lighter color, still mottled, but you have a lighter color because of the white influence. So um, in the second generation, I will be able to plant these and I'll get a cross with that bottom one. Um, and the top two, again, will look like um, just the parents. So um, most plants, for example, uh, zucchini. Okay, um, if you plant a zucchini, uh, you will get zucchini seeds. Um, you cross it with a different kind of pepo squash. The pepo seeds look enough alike that it's just going to look like a zucchini seed. But if you plant that and you use the uh, fruit from the following year, it may look very, very different because the seeds have no differences. So what you're looking at is in seeds that are crossing that look very different, you can end up with seeds that can actually identify a cross or a first generation hybrid. I'll talk with you later.